Two events are independent if one event does not affect the outcome of the second event. In statistical terms we would write the probability of event A and B, is equal to the probability of A times the probability of B. A die is rolled two times. What is the probability that a 4 will appear both times? The probability of rolling a 4 is 1 out of 6 because there is only one 4 out of the 6 numbers. Since rolling a die does not remove the 4 from the options, the probability of rolling a 4 on the second roll is still 1 out of 6. So the answer will be 1 sixth times 1 sixth which is 1 36th. A coin is flipped twice. What is the probability that it will land on heads both times? The probability of the coin landing on heads is 1 out of 2 because there is only one head out of two choices, heads or tails. Since flipping a coin does not remove the heads or tails option, the probability of the coin landing on heads again the second time is 1 out of 2. So the answer will be 1 half times 1 half which is 1 fourth. A spinner has 10 numbers. What is the probability that a 6 will appear the first spin and a 5 will appear on the second spin? The probability of a 6 appearing on the first spin is 1 out of 10 because there is only one 6 out of the 10 numbers. Since a number is not removed after the spin, the event is independent. The probability of the spinner landing on a 5 on the second spin is 1 out of 10 because there is only one 5 out of the 10 numbers. So the answer will be 1 tenth times 1 tenth which is 1 one hundredth. Two events are dependent if one event affects the outcome of a second event. In statistical terms we would write the probability of event A and B, is equal to the probability of A times the probability of B given that A has occurred. A bag of marbles has three red, two blue and one green, a total of six marbles. What is the probability of pulling out a red and then a green without replacing the marble? Since a marble is removed and cannot be used again for this exercise, the event is dependent. The probability of pulling out a red marble is 3 out of 6 because there are 3 red marbles out of 6 total. The probability of pulling out a green marble is 1 out of 5 because there is 1 green marble out of 5 total. Since a marble was removed in the first pull, there are only 5 marbles total in the bag. So the answer will be 3 sixths times 1 fifth which is 1 tenth, reduced. A deck of playing cards containing 4 suits with values ranging from 2 to 10, Jack, Queen, King, and an Ace. There are 52 cards in all. What is the probability of getting an ace and then a king? Since a card is removed and cannot be used again for this exercise, the event is dependent. The probability of pulling out an ace is 4 out of 52 because there are 4 aces in the deck, one of each suit. The probability of dealing a king is 4 out of 51 because there are 4 kings, one of each suit, out of 51 total. Since a card was removed the first time, there are only 51 cards remaining. So the answer will be 4 50 seconds times 4 50 firsts which is 4 over 663, reduced. There are three positions for student council, president, secretary, and treasurer. If the names were pulled from a container, what is the probability of getting chosen for a position if there are 20 students in a class? Since a person is placed into a position, he or she cannot be selected again for another office position. The event is dependent. The probability of selecting a president is 1 out of 20. The probability of selecting a secretary is 1 out of 19 since there is one person out of 19 in the class to select from since the first person is already in the president's position. The probability of selecting a treasurer is 1 out of 18 since there is one person out of 18 in the class eligible to select since two have already been placed into positions. So the answer will be 1 20th times 1 19th times 1 18th which is 1 over 6840.